ladies and gentlemen. What's up? This is Mr. LG, and you are listening to The Drive Home with Matt Burton. Begins in three, two, one, go. And welcome. You're listening to The Drive Home with Matt Burton. And today I have my two very best friends. Taylor had to be out today, but I have my two best friends in the studio. Miss Nikki and Miss Jolyn. Hello again, Matt. A.K.A. Country Girl. You got that. And A.K.A. Jersey Girl. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get used to it down here. <laughs> I said it's a lot of fun down to the yeah. south. Is a lot of fun. You've been here long enough. You should be getting the hang of some of it now. Oh my God! I, I didn't know you could make a U-turn like anywhere you want down here. We don't do that, do we, Nikki? We don't do that at all. No. No. Yeah. I don't know. Does she drive you around at all? Yeah, she, uh, you know, because you think about it. Anytime I come up to Garner and Raleigh, he never drives. I we never do. drive. Well, she, I do. Not you. I do. Look, I don't even I, like you driving. Yeah, there well, ain't nothing wrong with my driving. Well, she's getting to the point now where she's like, "Oh my god, oh my god, slow down!" I'm like, "Why?" She goes, "There's a car, like four cars up." Did you see what it did? I'm like, "No, I'm watching the guy in front of me." <laughs> Well, that's where it pays. I see things you don't, so I can stop things before they happen. Matt, you got a brake light passenger Mm -hmm. side. Yeah, you do. Yes. (laughs) You got one brake light. Miss Nikki Constable over here, she pointed it out for us. (laughs) I did. Oh, goodness. Man. So let me ask you this. Have you ever had a guy that you just are, Nikki, when you were dating, and Jolene, when you were dating, did you ever have that guy that you just... Or girl that you just ever wanted to just kick to the curb, that you just like I'm sick of it, I'm sick of it. Usually they end, they end up marrying people like that. We marry people like that, and then we want to kick them to the curb. Well, yeah. when you first marry them, they good as gold. But after the fact, that's when they, they that's when you want to kick them to the curb. Yeah. Well, we have 20 signs that it's time to dump his sorry butt. And some of these, sadly, as I was looking at it, I have did a couple of these. I won't say which one, but some of these I have actually uh, did before. So, Number one, he becomes a pen pal. A pen pal? Yeah. Meaning what? You know, like, oh, he's either f- fueled by a busy schedule or needs to collect. You know, just just becomes so busy with life that... He just, you know, he doesn't really come see you, doesn't spend time with you. He just writes you an occasional when it's convenient for him, like a text. Hey, how you doing? I've been busy. Well, sometimes it is the other way around, too. Yeah, that's true. See what I mean? Yeah, that's well, true. If they if they would rather, well, you know, it's, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that because, you know, I, I work with somebody who can talk to his wife all day long. And, uh... You know, I get on the phone with Nikki, and within a minute, I'm like, I got to go. <laughs> I'll text you later, you know? I'm like, w- w- what are you doing? I even videotaped him talking, he was talking and he's Spanish, so he's talking all day long. Oh, all yeah, day I saw long. the video, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a good video. Yeah. Did you see him chase the ball when I threw the ball? He chased no, it. The dog sat there and just <laughs> laid on the ground, and he ran up and got the tennis ball and brought it back. That's crazy. That's horrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's now, I, I'm crazy. this way, Mr. Critical. I can be Mr. Critical. Nikki, you've seen me being critical. Oh, yes. You know, but I don't think being critical is a bad thing. You know, the, you know, the guy really likes you, but he would like you so much if you did this or didn't do this or made this little tweak or, I mean, is that wrong? Oh, to my maybe, God. That sounds like my ex-husband. Well, you, you know, see, you know, you know the, the best relationships are the ones that meet from the neck up if you know what I mean like you know mentally like in your in your your eyes well so you know because I'm a saposexual what's that mean <laughs> yeah I was psycho? going to ask that myself a sapo- psycho a no, a, no not a psychosexual a saposexual where I'm in, attracted to intelligence why, did, why are we on your show <laughs> <laughs> now, Ni- now Nikki this is me Jolene you'll probably admit. I am he is a self confessed playboy Oh my goodness! No, I'm not. I'm no playboy. Far from it. When a man tells you he's only in it for fun, 
please, please believe him. Run. Run. Yes. Fast. Yeah, run. Or, hey, I'm just, I just want a friend that, you know, that's, and, and, and by the way, by the way, that is not what I am, folks. Just, I'm just saying, I was saying Playboy, like, you know. Yeah, you're no Playboy. <laughs> yeah, I'm no Playboy. <laughs> Far from it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He re- this one was very interesting. He refuses to be tested before sex. That tested? Is a, yeah, tested. Like, tested, kind of medical tested? Mentally tested? No, not mentally tested. HIV tested, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Tested. That's a red flag run. I thought you said, hey, yeah. can you, t- you need to do like, f- give me 15 push-ups right now. If you can't do it, you're out the door. <laughs> not physical. Not physical or not like, you know, where you get tested for ADD or something. You know, HIV tested, well, you know, I mean, sexual yeah. transmission disease. That's a red flag. That, yeah. yeah, that's a red flag. That, that's a that's a, a huge red Wait flag. Wait a minute, that's a red flag if the girl asks the guy to get tested? Yeah. Yes. Oh, the guy should just walk away and go, I don't need this. But, what has he got to hide? You know, because if he really, if he's really into the girl, hey, yeah. Yeah, if she's, that's right. I ain't got if to she, hide. Yeah, but listen, if she's starting off being suspicious, like, oh, I don't know, it's going to end up worse down the road. Yeah, but yeah, but you sleep with him and then have a lifetime of AIDS or something or genital something. I don't, yeah. I don't, well, I, you know, I, I don't like, know. Like, that's that's wanna... kind of, that. if somebody said, hey, you can get tested before we have sex, I'm like, all right, y'all be right back. <laughs> Yeah. Let me let me run to the down to the Walgreens yeah. and get that test. Yeah, Bloody Marys would be going down like uh, like rain. You know what I'm saying? Number five, he's a porn junkie. Well, we're all porn junkies. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Looking at porn doesn't make you an addict, but needing to reenact those videos. Yeah, that's kind of hmm. that's a kind of red flag there too. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not a bad thing. I'm, no. run, I'm, I'm running through some right now. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Only you. Number six, he talks about your weight, your looks, and compares you to his ex. Oh, yeah, that sounds just like would my that ex. Be, would that be, you know what, I did get this list from your ex, didn't I? Y- yeah, You it may sounds... have, you may have. <laughs> you know, like you know I mean, like it's a good thing to always talk about your ex, right? You know. You know. Number seven, he's a flake. Yep. Okay, so he's a, so you're dating. You're dating. You find out a flake that he's a flake, that he's either a liar or find out that you're that he's. Chaotic. Well, you shouldn't even go to that point where you're at that point. Well, you have to find out the point, and well, then you kick him up within right? the, within the first day that. And I keep see in mind, somebody. this goes in with females too. This is not just getting rid of the men. I mean, if you are applied. You know, just turning around in the same way with men or women. Yeah. But yeah. see, all, all I got to do is meet somebody for a day. And you can size them up. Yeah. And I, I can hit the nail right on the head. She sized me up, too. She said, uh, he's about 38, 40. No. Bump, bump. Not like that. <laughs> he's about extra large. <laughs> well, you know, I've... It, it's it's different. It's different. It's I mean everybody's different. You just gotta watch what you're getting involved with. I mean you gotta learn by your mistakes, and you can't keep making the same mistake over and over again. We right. all do that. Yeah. Well, I made the mistake too many times, but after a while, it, it you learn. Yeah. You, you learn. learn from your lessons. Number eight. He is a self-proclaimed martyr, or she. He or she. Thank goodness. His boss, family, friends, and society has them. Otherwise, the whole structure of the world would fall apart. Oh, my God. Okay. Like a downer, like a Debbie Downer kind of a... Yeah. You know, where the world the world uh, falls on his shoulders. Like right now, the world can't go on without the drive home with man. That's right. And now The we, love advice from Matt Burton, And since I have a good track record. Jolene and Nikki are here to yeah. give a good um, um, marital and re- relationship advice. Yeah. Yeah. With coffee talk. I feel like I'm I should be talking like a librarian. <laughs> I want my coffee. I uh, coffee. You got you you missed your coffee then you got a bracelet, so I I and will then still sparkly, get my coffee. Sparkly, it's a sparkly bracelet. I don't care, I'm still getting my coffee. Not after it's a no. You didn't uh, I'm taking the bracelet. Well, no you won't. Number nine, he's a he or she is a drama king or queen. Number 10, he pushes your boundaries. Sometimes pushing boundaries are good, I guess, right? No? Well, not in my last case, it wasn't. Mm. No. Yeah. 
You have to when you meet a guy. The first thing you do is um, you uh, you look in the glove box. You look <laughs> under the seat. You see how many French fries are there. You see what kind of. Oh, garbage. good lord! If somebody did that to me. <laughs> Oh, that, no. They they would have a whole Happy Meal in there for three days, because I'm sure there's some like Taco lettuce, Bell lettuce, wrappers. Yeah, some lettuce and some cheese from the Taco Bell, mm, and some French yes. fries, probably some onion rings up under there. God, and we need Taco Bell after we get off. Now listen, now now when, I would love it. And then if, a trip to Walmart. Hey, and then a trip to Walmart. Anyway, That's right. Moving on. Now with mm-hmm. uh, with men, um, when you're. When you think this is the right girl, you and I, and I saw this on a in a movie, or and uh, they get in. The, the guy goes around and unlocks the door for the girl. The girl gets in the car, closes the door. The driver's side is still locked. If she doesn't reach over and unlock the button to let you in, then she's not a keeper at all. I do that. I have to unlock the car sometimes. With the string, I saw you do it with that string. No, not a string. Number 11, he's a member of a secret society. That's always a good one. <laughs> you hey, usually... by the way, I'm in love, but I'm in a club that we can't... Well, know. that should be down the road. You find that out. You find all the later on in relationships. Uh, but this is how you kick him out. He's a control freak, or she. He or she's a control freak. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But kick him to the curb? That's right. Oh, yeah. Kick them to the curb. They insult your intelligence. What's that? How's that... Me. They insult your intelligence. Explain that to me, will you, Matt? You know, directly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get it? I mean, it's mm. simple. Oh, I'm not that smart. Yeah. Figure. Jersey it's people. The blonde. It's the blonde. It's the blonde. blonde moments. It's all the time. city. It's the city being with all the fumes in the air and stuff. Yeah. You know. It, yeah, that's it. Kind of gets to the brain. But see, you're here in the country now. You get into fresh air, so. They're a Peter Pan. A Peter Pan. A man who is 35 and acting out his 15-year-old fantasies does not make a solid partner, no matter how sexy they are. No, when they go to their uh, Star Trek conventions and they got the, you know, the Spock ears on and the whole thing. Star Wars are the worst. Uh, Star Wars now, yeah. It's, uh, well, yeah. I'm aging myself now talking about Star Trek. Mm. Yeah, you are. He's a mama's boy. No. Nothing wrong with being a mama's boy. No, there's not. No. But still. Mm -mm. I've been. I knew a friend who took his mother with his new wife to their honeymoon. Oh, no. Uh uh. That will never, ever. No, I, mean, I, I mean, they did get adjoining room, so at least he could tell her when and when. Well, to, but still. Hey, Mom, need you no. go over for about a couple minutes? No. There was money involved with this marriage. <laughs> yeah. it, there had to have been. Yeah. The girl's like, I'll deal with the mother. <laughs> Six months. <laughs> Once the annulment part passes, uh-huh. at 50%. He wants to be single for summer. Uh, that mm. was, you would have to go to the curb right then, right on the spot. Yeah. As soon as you said that, you'd have to go. At 21, it's forgivable. At 40, it's just pathetic. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I'll agree really. with that. Yeah. He lacks empathy. Or she lacks empathy. Explain, you may, explain that to Nikki. She's got this uh, confused look on I, her I, face. I mean, I don't want to uh, insult her intelligence. She might kick me as a curb from her friend. She's from the South. <laughs> okay, now you just offended everybody <laughs> listening. <laughs> Uh, by You're the way, gonna get by the way, everyone, get out of here. the thoughts and views of Miss uh-huh. Jolyn Harrison does not appear. No, the thoughts of the drive home with Matt. There, no, a little disclaimer. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> They're irresponsible. Always late. Now you're talking about the people from Jersey. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, Jersey people. No insult. They're always late, forgetting to keep the promises, and always complaining of sometime it makes up. I totally forgot. Or you know what I had? Oh, something. she's pointing to me on this one. Oh yeah! <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I forgot I'm, to do this. I forgot oh, to do I'm, that. I oh forgot. yes, yes, that mm. is totally you. But no, I was. I, but I wouldn't kick you to the curb though. No, you can't. You have papers on me. Yes, I do. She's also got papers on the dog, but you know. Well, that's horrible. This is true. Got papers. He insulted the dog. I got papers on everything. <laughs> so, do you really want to mess with this? Oh, she's got. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I can bring it uh-huh. on. Anyway, just kick your man to the curb and start over. <laughs> yeah, start from scratch. Yeah. Anyway, give us one second. We'll be right back. You're listening to the drive home with featuring today Miss Jolyn Harrison and Miss Nikki Diamond.